Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's super early in the morning. It's like five in the morning. I've been up since three. Uh, ever since I had my daughter, I'm up like at the, especially when I'm off from work. I'm up at the crack of dawn. No, before the crack of dawn, because uh, I just like to get some things done. Sometimes I'll get breakfast ready. Sometimes I'll prepare things. Sometimes I'll get the bottles ready for the day, especially if mom's going to work. So um, my nose is kind of stuffed and I've been having like a headache for the last two days, but I'm not stopping. I'm committed to this. And what I wanted to talk about today is I want to share a story. And maybe you've had you've experienced something like this before. Um, this story is going to be about, well, have you ever had somebody come and try to tell you how to take care of your baby or your child? Like almost like forcibly kind of like take over, right? <clears throat> Cause there's a lot of times as a parent, when I realize a lot of times, you know, people try to tell you what you can and can't do, or you should do it this way. You can do it that way. And it's nobody's right to be able to tell you how to take care of your child. I give advice and tips and I share my opinion. Doesn't mean you have to take it. It doesn't mean you have to agree. I'm getting the information out there. So I wanna share the story. I'm not gonna say the name of the person cause I don't wanna put out that person out there like that. Um, but I wanna share the story. So it was, it was like after we got home back from the hospital after having my daughter and um, there was one day that a close, let's just say a close family friend came by. And um, she came by and she's she's like an older person. And uh, she's not, I'm not really close to her. You know, she's close to uh, my girlfriend. <laughs> so um, she came over and I was changing the diaper. Like I was changing her, I was, I was starting to clean her. And she kind of like came over and she like just started to like, she kind of like, I don't remember too exactly, exactly how she did it, but she almost kind of came over and like grabbed the wipe from my hand and then just started like, oh, you got it like, almost like as if I was doing it too slow. And she just started like wiping and cleaning her. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. And it pissed me off. It really, it kind of pissed me off because um, this is my, first of all, this is my house. You're stepping into my territory. We pay for this. This is me and my girlfriend's place. Like nobody can come in here and try to tell us what to do. So she kind of like took the thing and she like started wiping it. And when she was wiping my daughter, she's had the same wipe when she was going up and down. If you saw the diaper cleaning video, the diaper changing video that I, uh, that I did yesterday, um, I was saying that when you take a wipe, you're not supposed to like go up and down because there's poop. You don't want to wipe up and down and wipe the poop back into her private area and wipe, you know, you want to wipe away down. You want to wipe it down and away the poop. You don't want to wipe back and forth and wipe the poop back and forth. So she was doing that. And I forgot what else she was saying, but like, I guess, you know, when people have kids already have kids, maybe they've raised a couple of kids of their own. They think like they're experts or they think like whatever. Um, but I, I just, I was really offended by that. So I ended up telling her, I said, I said, well, why are you wiping her like that? You're not even supposed to, you're telling me how, I forgot, I said something. I was like, you're saying to do this, but you're not even wiping her correctly. And it was like, it was like a tense moment for a second, you know? And she was, I think she said something like, oh, I was going to do that. Or she said something, but <clears throat> after that, you know, that situation was over with. And like, at the end, of, like, we weren't mad at each other. I wasn't angry at this person. I mean, I, I was upset. But like, it wasn't like when she left, I felt hostile or anything. I just feel that when you're put in this situation, you can, you can do either two things, okay? You're either gonna back down, you're not gonna say anything, and you're gonna let somebody else tell, tell you how to take care of your child, which I'm not the back down kind of person, especially when it comes to my child. I don't care if it's family, I don't care if it's my mom. Like, if it's my mom, I will tell her in a respectful way. But my mom doesn't do that anyway. My mom is very, like, when it comes to my daughter, she's, like, respectful and everything. But I'm just saying that if it was my mom and she was doing something I didn't agree with, I will respectfully, in a nice manner, I will tell her no or I'm not comfortable with that or whatever. And my mom's always respected that. But what I'm saying is there's nobody in this world that is going to stick up for your son or your daughter. It is up to you, especially when they're a baby. I mean, when they start growing older, you still need to, but 
especially when you're a baby and there's nobody that should come into your home, in my opinion, come into your home and tell you, do this, do that, oh, you're doing that wrong. No, sorry, no. Now there's people that like, they can give you suggestions. And this is something else too that you should learn. Cause I, you know, there's people that like, I'm one of those people, I, I mean, I was like that for a long time when somebody, I, I don't want to like stir the pot. I don't want to cause problems. So I'm just gonna kind of like, I'm, like I was very passive, very passive, just let things go. So in that situation, I would probably, oh, okay, yeah, this is how you tell me how to take care of my daughter. Like, I would be very passive. Not anymore. Like, I'm not, you can't be like that, man. And it's within your right. There's nobody in this world that can tell you how to take care of a child, what to do, or, hey, you're doing this wrong. Hey, do it this way. Well, I want to do it this way. And if I like to take my time when I'm changing my daughter's diaper, if I like to clean her and be thorough with it, because the thing, too, is, like, the way she did it, this is another, this is the point I'm making. I feel like there's nobody that's going to love your child as much as the parent is going to love, like mom and dad. There's nobody that's going to show that love. So the way somebody else is going to take care of your baby is not going to be the same way. Most likely, it's not going to be the same way you are. Because like she took the white from me and she just, I get, it's like she was insinuating that I was taking too long. So she just uh, kind of like, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but she kind of took it, wiped three times, okay, threw the diaper on and threw it. That's not what I'm about. I'm taking care of my daughter, especially she just came home from the hospital. I'm not in a race. I'm not in a competition. I want to take my time. I want to wipe her down. What I do too when I'm cleaning my, my, my daughter is sometimes too when they poop, like you can't see, especially that she's brown skin complexion, like caramel, brown, whatever you want to call it, uh, complexion. Sometimes I just wipe her thighs a little bit. And you'll be surprised there might be a little bit of poop or pee. I don't just wipe where I see stuff. I take my time and I wipe the thighs, I wipe her private area, I wipe her butt. Just make sure everything is clean so she feels fresh and comfortable. So this thing where somebody else comes into my house and is like, oh, one, two, three, blah, 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 boom. And you're going to be wiping the poop back into a private area. No, I'm not for that. So <clears throat> I feel like in life there's situations that come across. And, and you know how they say pick and choose your battles. So I just... With my daughter, I'm always going to battle. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm always going to fight for my daughter. So, like, that's not something that I'm going to back down from. Unless somebody's telling me, like, some valid, like, whatever. But don't just come into my house and try to, like, take over and just do that. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're, like, e e e I'm just, that's just how I feel. Like, I, you know, and, and most people that know me or the people that have come into my house, they know not to, it, 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 it should be like a common ground. Like most parents, you should know you got to be respectful when you come into somebody else's house. And you got to be careful too. Sometimes people mean well um, and it comes across in another way. Um, and to me, that time it came across me in an offensive way. So I want to know, have you ever experienced this in life? Have you ever gone through something like this? Where somebody comes and try to tell you how to take care of your child, but not just tell you, but like try to like take from your hand. I'm sure there's probably people that've been through this experience, and I just want to say that it's really up to you. You have to stand up. You got to draw the line because if you don't stand up, you never draw the line. You're gonna let anybody come in and push you around and tell you how to take care of your child. And you got to be confident. You got to be strong, and you also got to be humble. So um, I just want to share that story. Uh, and I've been in that situation a couple times, even at work, where people, well, I'm going to leave that for another video because I don't want to extend this video too long. So comment below, share, like, all that good stuff. Subscribe and help me out. Have a great day. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs>